Today we are going to solve one of the issues that can happen also with your 3D printer. A clogged nozzle. Coming up on Zachary 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other cool things you can do with 3D printing. If you are new to the channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, every social media link I have with this channel I will put in the description of this video. You can also support this channel as well. You can do that on Patreon. The Patreon link I will put in the description of this video. So last week I reached the 100 subscriber milestone. I want to thank all of my subscribers for subscribing to my channel. And because of this, I want to do a giveaway. Last time I did a upgrade on my Ender 3 Pro. I changed the main board from the stock one to a big three tech skr mini e3 i will put the link in the of this video i will put in the right corner and i was using this cordless precision screwdriver it has some bits also to it and i want to show you all the bits that are in it's a precision screwdriver so sometimes you can use one of the bits on the 3D printer that you are, you are using um, for circuitry or something like that, you can use this cordless drill. I got it as a gift from my wife, so I went to the shop that she bought it and I bought one to do a giveaway. If you want to enter the giveaway, there's only one thing that you need to do and that is put in the comments if you want to enter in the giveaway. In a few weeks, I'm going to reveal who is the lucky winner of this cordless drill. It's a USB charged cordless drill, so nothing too fancy with different kind of uh, uh, electrical um, things. So you can charge it with your USB connector. If you want to have this, then put in the comments that you want to enter the giveaway. And yeah, that's it. I'm not going to do any other fancy thing. I just want to give back something to you as subscriber. Like I mentioned in the intro, today we are going to solve a issue that comes sometimes with 3D printing, a clogged nozzle. A clogged nozzle can happen sometimes or in one of the first layers because that there is too much filament not extruding very well. Uh, and then everything is going backwards and everything stuck in the nozzle. But it also can happen that sometimes the, the filament is just too thick or something else and that builds up in the nozzle. And the nozzle is the one point underneath the hot end. I'm using the all metal hot end from Micro Swiss. It's a very nice, great hot end to, to use. And this is my second time that I'm dealing with a clogged nozzle. I was using before PTEG filament. And because I want to review Eason bronze filament, I changed it for the bronze filament and maybe it was my own mistake and that uh, nozzle was not clear enough. But now let's clear the nozzle and see how easy that goes. One of the things that I usually do is heating up the nozzle. Normal filament, PLA filament is around 210 degrees if you are using a micro Swiss all metal hot end. Sometimes you can also use different kind of filament and different kind of hot ends, but you have to see which kind of temperature your filament needs. In my case, 
I'm always printing at a temperature of 210, 215 degrees. But now, because of the uh, clock nozzle, I need to raise the temperature higher to make sure that it is flowing better. I would call it a filament bleed. So let's heat up the nozzle and let's make sure that our some filament is going out. In the meantime, there are some tools that you probably will need. Something like a needle. If you have an Ender 3 Pro or an Ender 3 or a different kind of Ender or a different Creality 3D printer, you will get this nice needle that they will use with acupuncture. I don't know if I say it right, but be careful, you will hit your finger even faster than possible. It's very sharp, it's very thin, so before you know it, you will get some finger bleed instead of a filament bleed. So, let's heat up the nozzle and check how it is done. So, in the new Marlin 2.0 software, it's very easy to do this. We go to temperature, we go to nozzle, the heat bed we don't need, and then we are going to turn the knob. I will take a temperature of 240 degrees and let's heat it up. Let's move the camera to there. So in Marlin or on this kind of 3D printer, you press the knob, you go to temperature and you go to nozzle and you set the temperature on 240 degrees. Hit confirm and then let it heat up. I was, like you can see, I was printing this and it stopped, unfortunately. There's nothing you can do about it, it's just a pity that some print is failed. So now the temperature is 240 degrees and you already see that some filament is coming out. You can try to, to move a little bit filament through the extruder and see if there is something going to happen. When I'm dialing the knob, as you can see here, I see that I cannot push any further. You can also see that the wire or the tube is moving, so I'm not going to overturn it. I don't want to have any any damage on the filament, so I'm just putting it a little bit back and then I'm going to use the needle. Without any assembling here, I'm just leaving as it is, put the heat bed a little bit back and then try to put the needle inside. And just wiping it off, just in one direction. And as you, as you can see, something is coming out. Now we try to push the needle inside and be careful, don't burn your fingers. Just push it a little bit through. I feel that I'm coming out. Now we take the tissue again and just wipe it away. So now we are going to try again if we can get something out. And as you can see there is still some blockage here. So we are taking the needle again. Wipe the needle also a little bit clean. Now we are going to push it in again. Oh, still something coming out. 
to clean out everything by removing the nozzle or the completely hot end still possible so as you can see before the heat break there is some clogged filament so the nozzle is clear but the problem is in the heat break leave the needle inside so I can clean the needle as well now we are going to try it again let's try it again oh. I can twist it even a bit more let's let it run for a while so I don't know if you could see it on the uh, time-lapse I I didn't get anything out again so I just repeated the process again so I was going with the needle inside of the nozzle I turned it a little bit I pushed it a little bit further and then some <laughs> eruption came from out of the nozzle and it came all over use the extruder dial again and just press it turn the knob around just in uh, uh, slowly not too fast and then let it run a little bit so that everything that is coming out is is at consistent level so now if you can see it i don't know what cost in my case the clock nozzle i believe that there is one point that was a little bit too thick for going to the nozzle i cleared it up with my needle and then run it a few times let the nozzle bleed filament and then clear so to wrap up this video my printer is printing again or it starts to print uh, it's going to continue with the little no the big brother from this little uh, dragon it's always mesmerizing the first line that is going to be printed but I'm definitely sure that this print is going well. It's a different kind of filament, like I mentioned. It's a brand Eason, which I never used before. Well, almost never used before. So I need to adapt to this kind of filament. It's a different kind of one, in different kind of environment created. But that I will leave for a other video. In the meantime, I will put a affiliate link from that brand in the description of this video. But to wrap up the clogged nozzle issues on your 3D printer, well, I was using a acupuncture needle. If you can get one of these, it would be very handy to use. My Ana 3 Pro came with this one. It's yeah, not that expensive. I will put a link in the description of this video uh, it's an affiliate link you can use it to buy one of these i will also put a affiliate link from some 3d printers if you don't have one but you want to have a 3d printer there you will find some nice 3d printer printers that are great to use so that was it for today's video thanks for watching please like this video subscribe to sakuri 3d prints and if you want to share this video with other people that like 3D printing, feel free to do so. And that was it. Let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri, 3D Prints. Bye bye.